Impala Platinum is the world's second largest platinum producer with operations in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. It has a market cap of 90 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 21 and a dividend yield of 1.4%. And we, we don't have to harp on the negativity. We know that all these stocks are in the doldrums. We just got to look at this share price as well. Mm. And it's down from heady levels of 390 to just above 130. Yeah, it's not doing as badly as you said there. It's got a PE of 20 or something, whereas Anglo Plus is on a PE of 90. 90 as the earnings have kind of collapsed. Their real problem is that, you know, the Zimplatz, which was such an exciting opportunity for them, uh, you know, is now caught in that unfortunate dance of the Zimbabwean government around indigenization. But have analysts ever really factored Zimplatz into the overall mm. valuation of Impala Platinum? Surely this is just kind of the, the kicker and yeah. people haven't put it in. I remember the last election anything. in Zimbabwe. I used to sit there refreshing my web page to see when the results were going to come in because MDC was winning all the votes. And then, you know, Mugabe and ZANU PF swept to power and it was all the same all over again. It looked for a while as they were looking to modernize the economy in 2009 when they went on to the US dollar. But no, then, but you aren't answering my question. Did you not hear I it? I think so. I think I they did. I asked you whether analysts have yeah. factored in Zimplatz to the Impala Platinum story, or does it just sit outside the fold? Well, it's now a, it's it a does. kicker. Now it does. But back then, when you know they were taking the biggest stake, I think it was a big part of the excitement because it's 100 million ounces, close to the surface, fabulous margins, all of that. So if they had been able to retain that stake and bring that production on, but now they've kicked it onto the slow lane, the back burner, and now that indigenization minister Xavier Kosukawera runs around trying to seize everything, everybody wants to just get the heck out of Zimbabwe. Rob, is that a key concern, Zimplatz? Yes, it overhang? is. I mean, they're making really good money there. I think their margins are around 40% on the platinum that they're producing out of Zimplatz. So they're making quite good money. They're making a lot of money. Um, but they just don't know where they stand. So it just brings uncertainty. Uh, and I think the price shows that uh, they're not putting Zimplatz into the, into the earnings going forward. Uh, but, you know, as, as a company, they are making revenue. Those revenues do flow in. You can't keep them out of the balance sheet. So they do flow into the balance sheet. Well, there's another element we've got to bring uh, to discussion here. And that is, again, we've seen a CEO mm. out of the fold, Dave Brown, you know, saying time out, can't take the pressure anymore. Well, I don't know if that's what he exactly mm. said, but he decided to go and look further afield for... Well, are we going to see what, what's happening at Impala Platinum on the management front? Well, I think you know, he, he was the first person to go into Zim's and had that uh, really great asset there. And he just couldn't really get it off the ground. And I think maybe he'd step back and he, uh, let's take a break from everything. Um, you know, it really depends again. You know, can these companies uh, continually have assets that are, are so uncertain and it causes problems with all of their cash flow? Um, you know, are you going to have earnings coming through? So it's just that uncertainty is not leaving at the moment. So management doesn't have too much that can do. Their hands are slightly tight. Investors hate uncertainty. That's one thing that we know. Yeah, I've always liked Impala. We used to own it and then we got out when things started darkening there. The management team at Impala is great. That's Terence Goodlace. He's the ex metrex guy that was at Goldfields before. Are we just seeing he's these, fabulous. These he CEOs like, moving from one entity to he, another. He sleeps out there at the mines and he's like on the ground talking to people. You know, whereas Anglo Platinum had a chief diversity officer in Marshalltown and another one in Rustenburg and then another one at the mine. Impala always had a sleek, you know, production-oriented team. So I do like them, and I think Terence is fabulous. He's the best CEO by Can far in the sector. Can he turn it around under current conditions? Well, it's, I think operationally they'll do fine. They've also got the refinery in Springs, which does a lot of other people's toll refining, which is a nice profitable business, and they buy back a lot of the old uh, poisoned platinum from the autocats and stick them back into the refinery at springs and so on and so forth so i think impala is a much better business and i prefer it and i wouldn't be as anxious or negative about this but i don't think that the 140 odd rand share price is an anomaly which is about to be you know found out and that it's going to double I just think it's where it's at now, given all of the bad news in the economy and Would in the sector. Would you say it's important to still adopt a, a wait-and-see attitude on Impala if this isn't potentially the bottom? Yes, I think you have to. I don't think you can uh, put a long-term trade in and take a very big position um, with so much uncertainty. How much f further can it fall? I mean, has anybody done these numbers? Well, look, you know, I mean, let's talk Zimbabwe again. In 2013, they're supposed to have an election. That's if they can scrape together enough money to print the ballot forms to have the election. The idea that zanu PF will rule until the second coming, I don't think is correct. I think at some point you're going to get regime change up there and a new, modernized, younger, 
you know, management team in Zimbabwe will realize that embracing the outside world is a much better outcome for everyone. So, I think ultimately there's value in Impala. Hot or not? Not hot. You say there's value. <laughs> I ask you hot or not, you say not hot. What kind yeah, of consistency well, you know, is that? You've got to just take your pick out there. It's not the hottest stock, in my opinion, at this level. I don't uh -uh. think I trust you on any of your calls, actually. <laughs> Rob, hot or not? Still staying out of platinum, not hot for alignment. I see uh, consistency. I see consistency in your calls.